Hi, welcome back to Maria's Kitchen. I am so excited to be back with you and you know why? Because this is one of my favorite things, guacamole chunky dip. And we are going to get started and I'm gonna let you know what you need to make this. The very first thing you're going to need is of course these lovely Haas avocados and you're gonna need two of them. I just have a bunch here because some are ripening up. You're gonna need actually just one tablespoon of the minced jalapeno. You'll need one lime and we'll juice it. You're gonna need one tablespoon of chopped Roma tomatoes. One, there's the one tablespoon of the minced chopped jalapeno. Now that's gonna be optional, but I have to have that. And we've got the minced purple onions, one tablespoon, one teaspoon of chopped, very finely chopped cilantro. And we've got the half of a teaspoon, which is basically one clove minced. You'll need black pepper and some kosher salt. And I think that's it. And let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and juice one lime. And there's the juice in there and it's ready to go. The next thing you're going to do is slice your avocado open and you're going to take the pit out of both of them. And you don't want to cut the avocado until you are going to make this uh, chunky guacamole because it will turn brown and you want it nice and green and vibrant. So here we go. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take out all of this avocado and you're just going to plop it into the bowl because we are going to mash it and I know a lot of people have different ways to mash the avocado some people cut it up in cubes but actually I saw one of the cooks on Food Network and he just used a potato masher and so you know what I'm going to try that because a lot of times I'm using a fork and a knife and a spoon and it takes forever and I could put it in a food processor but I don't want it that smooth. I want it chunky. So there we go. We've got the two avocados in there and now we are ready to mash. Let's see how it works. We're going to mash this up and let's see. I'm going to mash it up in there. Ooh, it's coming out pretty good yeah now if you want a smoother one you can put it in a food processor but i like it chunky hey look at that it worked <laughs> okay we're gonna add our ingredients now so we're ready to add everything in so i'm gonna add uh i'm gonna do about an eighth teaspoon of pepper and we're gonna do an eighth teaspoon of kosher salt we're gonna do that lime juice, here it goes. And then we're gonna do the minced Roma tomatoes and the minced, mmm, I need to get this. I need all of these minced jalapenos. Now, if you don't and you can't handle the spice, leave that out. And I'm putting the purple onions because they're my personal favorites. But if you wanna add the white ones, it's your choice or none at all. And so we've got the cilantro, the one teaspoon, and then the half a teaspoon, which is one minced garlic. And here we go. We're going to, oh, doesn't that look beautiful? We're going to mix this all up here. And we're going to, and I'm going to leave it kind of chunky because that's the way I like it. But if you want to, oh, look how pretty. How beautiful is this? And I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with this after we get done. And that is pretty much it. I'm gonna put it into a beautiful container and I'll be back. So I went ahead and tasted it and you'll wanna do a taste test because it needed a little more salt, so I added some. So now we are going to fill this beautiful little dish I have here. And you wanna keep this cold and I have this little container we can get it on ice and we're gonna wrap it with some saran wrap because oh look how pretty and green that looks and it looks beautiful 
and this is perfect for so many things tacos tostadas avocado toast just a dip with chips which i have right here and that is done and it didn't even take that long the very last thing you're going to do is plastic wrap the top of the avocado and one of the chefs said this is what he said and i said to wrap it and to leave it for 30 minutes outside of the refrigerator and then put it in the refrigerator so that the all of the ingredients can blend in very well because when you put it in the fridge it stops them from blending so we're leaving that for 30 minutes and then we're putting it in the fridge i hope you enjoyed the show and i will see you again on maria's kitchen in jeremiah 31 16 there is hope for your future do not weep any longer for i will reward you says the lord for the lord will cause something new to happen for i will give you rest and joy for the sorrow in second corinthians this is why we never give up God renews our spirits every day and he restores again. Do not give up because God has good plans for you, plans to prosper you and not harm you.